Hi everyone, this is Pam Sterling coming to you from the Radiance Restaurant at the Spa Resort here outside of Chiang Mai, Thailand. And um, I thought it would be fun to share with you my meals for a day. Um, I'm doing a three week detox program here. And the first week is all raw food. And the second week is uh, a week of juicing. And then the third week is raw food again. And I'm here for a month total. But the restaurant is incredible, and I'm having so much fun trying their different raw, raw meals that they're uh, offering. This restaurant has been rated one of the 50 top restaurants in the world by one of the magazines in the UK. And um, what's really wonderful about it is that it's, although it has incredible raw food, it also is not limited to raw food. So every item on the menu is labeled as either vegetarian, or a um, anti-candida diet, if that's something that's important to you, raw, a vegan, or um, something that's part of the fast, and then they also have other um, recipes as well, so that include fish and things like that. So it really appeals to everyone, and the food is absolutely fantastic and gorgeous as it comes out. So I'm going to be ordering breakfast here in a minute, and then uh, um, we'll go through lunch and dinner together as well. So. Uh, enjoy and bon appetit. So my breakfast has arrived and it's a beautiful gorgeous breakfast. First of all fruit salad with um, watermelon, pineapple, some mango and papaya with a little lime to squeeze over the top. And then I have a fresh coconut and I have to say that these coconuts I've been having here are absolutely the best I've ever had. Just so fresh and so delicious. Um, and it makes sense. It's a young Thai coconut in Thailand. Makes sense. And then the other uh, juice that I've been enjoying in the morning is a wheatgrass pina colada. So this is coconut water and pineapple juice with a shot of wheatgrass and then blended with ice. And it's fantastic. This is a great thing to be able to make at home. So um, I'm going to keep that one in mind for home. But, this has been a typical breakfast for me, and it's gorgeous, delicious, and just the way I like it. Well, hello everyone. We are back at the Radiance Restaurant for lunch. And one of the things that's amazing here is that as part of the program I'm participating in, the detox program, we're given four different dishes at lunchtime which is just like amazing. You can see all this food. I'm just going to walk you through it and, so that you can see exactly what it is that they give us. But the first thing I wanted to start off with today at lunch is my coconut water again because I've just had a massage and done a fire infrared sauna. And coconut water is tremendous for rebalancing your electrolytes. So that's one of the reasons I have been drinking coconut water regularly, probably about three a day, which has been fantastic. But let me walk you through this incredible gourmet raw food. And the first thing that we have is a raw tropical gazpacho. Now let me just read you the ingredients in this because it is fabulous. It's, to, it's um, cucumber, pineapple, jalapeno pepper, red pepper, green onion, salt, and then it's sprinkled with cilantro and some macadamia nuts on top. And it is fantastic. I'm going to be trying to figure out how to make this one myself because it's so good. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with raw, let me talk a little bit about it. Um, it. It means that the food hasn't been heated above 118 degrees and the benefit of that is that when we don't heat food above 118 degrees, we don't destroy the enzymes. And when we retain the enzymes like that, what it does is it um, it does a lot of things for us. Enzymes are the catalyst for every metabolic uh, reaction in the body. And so when we retain those enzymes, our body doesn't have to pour enzymes into our stomach to help digest our food, and it frees up energy to actually uh, do other things the body needs to do, like heal and give us more energy and uh, do all kinds of other things so that we're, our body is, is functioning at peak performance. So that's, that's the idea behind raw food. <clears throat> so the second dish that I have here is an appetizer. It's a raw hummus. And so this is made with chickpeas, um, but they've been soaked rather than cooked. And um, it has, I believe, some cumin with it, and that's with some cucumber sticks. Now this is a really interesting dish that I've really been enjoying, which is a raw pad thai. 
This is made with cucumber, um, zucchini noodles, and it has a cashew kind of sauce on it, and then it's sprinkled with cashews on top, and then there's some red and yellow peppers uh, sort of sprinkled throughout, and it's served with sort of a side of bean sprouts and a little bit of lime. So, and that's really fantastic, so I'm excited about that one. So like a raw Thai dish here in Thailand, it's awesome. And then the, the last dish that I got, which I probably won't have enough room to, to eat right now and end up taking back to my room, is a raw, a raw Waldorf salad. So this is apples and pineapple with some golden raisins, um, typically served with walnuts as well. So um, I'm going to sort of use that as my little dessert. So this is, this is my raw lunch here at the Radiance restaurant. I can't wait to dig in, and uh, we'll see you at dinner. So good. I'm definitely learning to make this one. Well, hello everyone. This is Pam Sterling, and we are back at the Radiance Restaurant here at the Spa Resort in Chiang Mai. And this time we're having dinner. So, um, you know, I had a pretty big lunch, so I'm going a little bit lighter on dinner with just a spa salad. But it's not just a spa salad. This spa salad is awesome. Um, Full of lots of you know all the good stuff not a bunch of lettuce but all the really good stuff cucumbers avocado and tomato on top of that and I've also ordered a raw miso soup but this is a tropical miso soup check this out this is what it has in it tomato avocado coconut water lemon red miso ginger garlic parsley onion and some orange juice so I'm really excited to try that and then I ordered a couple desserts because I'm doing a little bit of a splurge tonight. Um, so I wanted to try a couple of the sort of famous desserts here. And one is the um, apple pie, so I'll be trying that in a bit. But the, the dessert that whose reputation really precedes it is the mango coconut flan. And uh, so I can't wait to dig into this one. Now, <clears throat> In the spirit of Giuliani's restaurant, and if any of you have ever been there in Santa Monica, you know that they always encourage you to eat your dessert first. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to give a try to this mango flan and let you know how it is. So this is, this is awesome. So it's it also has vanilla in it. So it's it's um, coconut and mango and vanilla. I don't think it's that hard to make. I got to figure this one out too, so I can bring it up back to all you guys. All right, so. We have the mango flan, the miso soup, the apple pie, um, the spa salad, and of course I have my coconut water already. And as you're thinking, as you're going through your day today, I want to encourage you to think about ways that you can in, uh, include more raw foods into your diet today. Um, maybe it's just an apple, maybe it's a salad, uh, maybe it's a fun recipe that you find on my website. I just encourage you to uh, incorporate into your diet today some amazing, gorgeous, delicious, energy-giving, life-giving raw foods into your diet. I want to thank you for joining me on this fun, outrageous joy, raw food cuisine adventure today. And until I see you next time, make it a joyous day.